Welcome to the homework for Lesson 8. This is Module 5 of Grade 3. Please write your name here first. And we're showing a number bond for fractions. So show a number bond representing what is shaded and unshaded in each of the figures. Draw a different visual model that would be represented by the same number bond. So just to explain the example that's given right here, this is, the samp this is the sample that's given here, and you can see that there are one, two, three, four of the ninths are shaded in. So that's why this is like, this number bond shows of the whole, one whole shape, four of the ninths are shaded, and five of the ninths are not shaded. And that's what, that's how the, that's why the number bond, and this has this ninths because there's nine equal parts to this shape. And then it says a different visual model. So here the example is it's just drawn as triangles. Um, I suggest really just draw rectangles or circles and chop them up um, because it's this triangle thing here, very difficult to draw this and get the pieces to look even close to being equal. So really the easiest thing to do is to just draw like pieces of tape kind of or rectangles or squares and chop them up. So let's go. We've got one, two, three, four, four pieces, right? So our hole is just one whole shape and two of the fourths are shaded and two of the fourths are not shaded and I'll just draw a so as much of a square as I can and I'll do this if I go corner to corner I'll have four equal parts and I can just shade in two of them and that's two fourths and you could do this with a circle circles pretty easy to do with fourths or you could do, you know, bars. Uh, let's see. Number two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. So these are sevenths. So, and there are one, two, three, four, five of them shaded. So one whole shape. Five of the sevenths are shaded. And two of the sevenths are not shaded. Try to make a right. It's really hard to draw a rectangle when you can't draw a straight line. Let me just see if I can do a little bit better. A little bit better. All right, so now I need uh, sevenths, and I'm just gonna have to sort of guess. And the thing about these is that if you guess, just make a guess and keep making these so that you can try and get them about the same as each other as you can and now I'll count them one two three four five six i need sevenths so i need one more of these it's really easy to add one more onto the end there now i have sevenths i'll just clean up my counting marks here and I need to shade in five of them. So I'll leave the last two unshaded. But you don't want to be careful how you shade these in because we want to see the uh, we. If you make this whole thing and black it all in, or color it all in, we won't be able to see how many sevenths there are. So be careful that you sh when you shade this and you do it very lightly or with a different color that's easy to see through. Uh, so this one we have one, two, three, four, five parts, one whole shape, four of the fifths are shaded, and one of the fifths is not. So let's see, fifths are hard to do. So I'm going to make a rectangle out of it. 
and do call that a fifth. And these look pretty close. One, two, three, four. I have five of them. That last one looks a little too big. So I'm going to try to make it a little skinnier. Just so it looks the same as the other fifths. There, that's pretty good. And I'm going to shade in four of these. This is a trick you can use to shade them. So you don't actually just stay inside each fractional part. And that way you can see, still see how many fractional parts there are. Instead of just going like that across all of them, it makes it hard to see that. Now I have to redraw. There. And I should clean this up just a little bit. This is all about how it looks when you're drawing pictures of fractions. So I'm trying to make it look my best. So here we have how many pieces do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. So one whole shape. How many are shaded in? Zero of them. Zero eighths are shaded in, and eight eighths are not shaded in. And here I'm going to try and make a circle here. I'm not very good at drawing circles, but that's about as round as I can get it. All circle fractions have to go through the center of the circle. So start by figuring out where the center is, draw a dot there, and then just make sure all of your lines go through the center. Let's see. That's kind of fourths. And now through here, and then the other fourths through there, and now we have eights. And I'm not shading any of them in. Number five, draw a number bond with two parts showing the shaded and unshaded fractions of each figure. Decompose both parts of the number bond into unit fractions. So I'm just going to do one. I'll do the first one for an example, and, and really then you'll know. If you don't remember this from if you did it already in class, remember what, what this is. Um, you'll never f figure, I'll never be able to describe it except for just to show it to you by doing the first one. So a number bond with two parts showing the unshaded and unshaded fractions of each figure. We just did that on the first page, right? So I'm looking at this part, this one A. And there's one, two, three equal parts, so that's thirds. So I need a number bond here, one whole. And there are two thirds shaded, and one third not shaded. And then it says decompose both parts of the number bond into unit fractions. So well, one third here is already uh, a unit fraction, so I don't have to do anything to that one. But I'm going to decompose this two-thirds into unit fractions of one-third each. And that's how these are going to look. So B is one whole shape. One, two, three, four, five parts. So we have four-fifths shaded, one-fifth not shaded, and the four-fifths we have to decompose into unit fractions, which is fifths. Now, since this is four-fifths, we're going to need four, one, two, three, and each of these is the unit fraction one-fifth, because four-fifths is made up of this one fifth, that one fifth, that one fifth, and that one fifth. Uh, and this is one, two, three, four, five equal parts. One whole shape. Three fifths are shaded, and two fifths are unshaded. 
3 fifths means we need 3 1 fifths. And now this 2 fifths, we can also, we can decompose that into 2 1 fifths. Like that. Johnny made a square peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He ate, I'm, I'm just going to draw a square. He ate one third of it and left the rest on his plate. So we need thirds. Draw a picture of Johnny's sandwich. Here we go. He ate one third of it and left the rest on his plate. So that part is eaten. Draw a picture of Johnny's sandwich. Okay, done. Shade the part he left on his plate. Oops, I'm going to have to fix that. So that's a 38. It's the two thirds that he left on his plate that I need to shade in. So, well, that's what erasers are for. So I'm going to shade in this. And this is going to be left on plate. Uh, okay, done. Shave and draw a number bond that matches what I drew. So one whole sandwich, one third he ate, two thirds, oops. two-thirds left so I'll just label this left and eight and sandwich okay and there's the number bond that matches what I drew and what fraction of his sandwich did Johnny leave on his plate that's what I have to answer here Johnny left two thirds of his sandwich you have you can't just say he left two thirds it has to be two thirds of his sandwich you have to have the of his sandwich because you have to know what it's a fraction of you have to say what the whole is because it, it really you can't otherwise it could be two thirds of Johnny <laughs> and that would be is crazy. Um, of tooth of a sandwich on his plate.